All right, super quick video because I got to get out of here and go pick up the wife, and I'm feeling sick, so if I mumble or sniffle or something, forgive me. This is my coil winding rig that I built. I'm just kind of showing this off in case it helps somebody get some ideas. Um, I'm we'll starting on the right side here. I'm using threaded rod actually for these rods, and which I really don't like, but it seems to work. Okay, so um, quick releases here and here, so you can take off the spool quite easy. On both sides, I've got these um, cones to kind of center the spool to keep it from wobbling all over the place. And everything here you see in blue has been 3D printed. I love my 3D printer. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, up top, we've got a little guide hole for the wire onto the spool. Uh, spool wheel and then the wire goes straight down to the bobbin uh, which is really nice because I don't have to touch the wire at all because every time I touch the wire it seems to get kinked or messed up somehow and then it doesn't lay right on the bobbin and it screws up the turns and the layers and whatever so this keeps it nice and straight and uh, factory like and on the right side here we have a uh, tension wheel got a little wing nut down here I can tighten and applies tension uh, so that well two reasons one when the spool is tugged on it doesn't keep free spinning and then wire gets all over the place and makes a mess uh, but it also keeps the wire nice and tight so that when it's going on to the bobbin um, it actually wants to lay flat and lay next to the previous turn so it kind of helps guide the wire on there if there's tension which is really cool um, for now I am manually turning it. I did have this electric motor on there, nice little pulse width modulation unit and a reverse switch and all that, but it wasn't geared down enough. It was turning too fast, so if you saw that there was an issue with one of the turns, uh, it was already three or four turns later uh, when you were able to stop it so that you could correct the issue, so I just went ahead and took this off and threw on a manual handle there which works really nice. Um, got my holders, more quick releases. And as you can see, the turns are quite nice. This is three layers so far, no turn, no crossovers, no issues. Um, the distance from the bobbin to the spool reel, uh, spool wheel, um, I actually kind of calculated that out. I brushed up on my trigonometry a little bit and with 0 0.8 millimeter wire, uh, the maximum angle you can have from that spool wheel and still lay exactly next to the previous turn was about four degrees. So the distance is deliberate. So if I get a bigger bobbin or a bigger size wire and I need to increase the distance, I actually went ahead and I put uh, quick disconnects on here so I can just pull them apart if needed and make a bigger distance. Um, the things I'm waiting on, the counter, I'm going to put a little wheel right here with a bump. It's a little manual click counter. Um, it's coming from Amazon, should be here in about a week. And I need new uh, bobbins. These white ones I 3D printed, but there was a problem. And they're a, a little bit like trapezoid, not squarish. Mm -hmm. So waiting on filament, 3D printer filament. That should come in about a week as well. And uh, also, cool little thing here. This is spring loaded on this end in the bearings so I can just pop that off and take off my uh, bobbin pretty easy. So that's it. I guess in about a week when I get my stuff I'll print out some bobbins and uh, start winding some coils and get back to my experiments. Anyways, hope this gives some ideas if there's anybody out there building a rig. Talk to you soon. Peace.